quarters of the lake. Pressuring outside now, mighty. It's post time for tonight's sixth race. Start of the pick for the Classic Oaks for Trotting Mares. A field of ten lined up in behind the gate, and here they come. And they're off, and Sophia, let's go, gets the first call from the outside. Ringside, Leah has gone on a break at the start. Cameron Hall from the inside has gotten away in second, and Gypsy balances into the bid early for Brian Sears. She's driving on on the outside from third. Scully FBI on the inside, racing in fourth. Malabar Miss drops in nicely on the inside from fifth, and Windy Lane Hanover is on hurried early, but she's showing the whip in the sixth spot, already about eight lengths from the lead as Gypsy Balance drives on to the front. Malabar is racing in seventh, the quarter was in 27 and 4. Dig that girl's gap slightly in 8th. Cartier Hall showing the whip from a tough spot in ninth. And after the break, leaving ringside Leah is far behind and trails the field. And their straight alignment at Gypsy Balance is marching along on the front end here. And she's two lengths in front of pocket sitting. Sophia lets go. Cameron Hall is tracking the top pair from third. Scully FBI following her in fourth. And Malabar Miss racing in fifth. And waiting for her cover is Windy Lane Hanover as they reach the half in 56 and 1. And Malabar Mist is tipped to the outside, flushing out Scully FBI, who's coming first over for Luke Willette. And Scully FBI is now third, just two lengths from Gypsy Balance with three eights to go. Windy Lane Hanover is now third over. She's sixth on the outside with about six lengths to make up on the lead. Dig that girl racing in seventh. Then Marlabar, Cartier Hall in a tough spot. She's fifth over right now. And far behind is ringside Leah. And Scully FBI is taking it to Gypsy Balance as they hit three quarters in 120. Five and three. Sophia Let's Go is jammed in behind a wall of horses with no racing room. And Windy Lane Hanover kicks off cover. She has two lengths to make up on the outside. It's Scully FBI with an eighth of a mile to come. But Windy Lane Hanover takes dead aim and is charging hard on the outside. Windy Lane Hanover surging up to the lead. Scully FBI is hanging in there. It's these two as they come to the line. And Windy Lane Hanover appeared to get up from Scully FBI. Cameron Hall third and one fifty four. And one. Racy by Photomaker on release to Charlie Keller the third, Charlie Keller the fourth, and Biddle from Maryland. Brett Biddle, the trainer, and Ron Pierce is in the sulky. Two in a row in the Classic Series for Windy Lane Hanover, fresh off a world record performance. She scores tonight in 154 and one-fifth. Results have been posted official. In the winner's circle to make the Classic Oaks Trophy presentation, we welcome Beatrice and William Osterer, Cheryl and Craig Weiner, and Jeffrey Osterer joining us as well, making presentation to the connections of Windy Lane Hanover and winning driver Ron Pierce. Results posted official. Number one, Windy Lane Hanover pays $3, 280 and 220 Finishing second, number three, Scully FBI, 780 and four even. And third, number two, Cameron Hall, 360 to show. Exacta 1-3, 41 even. Trifecta 1-3-2, 147, 60. And the pick three of 361 pays 298, 80. In the upcoming seventh race, there are no changes. Exact to trifecta pick three, no changes in the upcoming pick three. Fourteen dealer driver, Ron Pierce. Ron, last year you won the Hamiltonian Oaks with Windy Lane Hanover beating Cameron Hall. Uh, how has she improved at age four? She just uh, seems to be getting better and better. Big track pick her up a little bit? Oh, it helps, uh, but she go gets around in the small tracks fine. Last week, a world record of 53 and four at Dover. Tell us a little bit about the trip you wound up with tonight. I believe you were third over. Yes, uh, tonight I was, and I believe I was last week, too. I just tipped her three deep going around the last turn, and uh, uh, she just uh, blew by him. Is this the best she's been right now? I think so. Last week she was uh, unbelievable. I, I, uh, I was very, very happy with her, and tonight she, uh, she uh, trotted a big mile. Is this, her, is this her style, racing off the pace? I mean, if need be, could you leave the game? Oh, I could. I did it in the Hamiltonian Oaks and sat the two old camera and all. Uh, but, you know, she'll, she's such a classy uh, mare that uh, you could do pretty much whatever you want with her. We'll see you on a regular basis nightly at the Meadowlands this week? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'm happy to be here. Okay, Ron Pierce winding up his best season right here. He's in the winner's circle with Windy Lane Hanover.